Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. I have a, uh, a beer here from um, a local brewer brewery in Oklahoma City. Uh, I've done two of the other ones. I did one called uh, Spare Rib and it was like grapefruit juice. That was a while back I did that and I didn't like that one. I did another one called Briefcase Brown and it was it was a decent beer by them and this one is the third one and the last one that that I had by them it's called uh, Negative Split Co-op Ale Works is the brewery name it's a 4% alcohol 10 IBUs it's a 16 flow ounce can um, no date Belgian style ale I think that's really about it it's got a it's got a little fox running across there inside a some kind of old stopwatch or something it says aromatic malt, wheat, and oats merge with fruit forward esters from the traditional Belgian style yeast to create this unique, quaffable, and satisfying beverage. Drink the second half faster because it's not getting any colder. <laughs> so, I'm going to drink that one real quick. Uh, I'll show you what I got for my 100th video. This is a. Uh, Avery Brewing Company Hog Heaven It's a bomber Watch some reviews on it This would this is a dry hop barley wine style ale um, It says the holy trinity of ales is what it says on there, but the reviews I watched on it they uh, Oh and the breweries out of out of Boulder, Colorado but the reviews I've watched on it, they say it's really bitter. So I don't know, I don't know how it's going to be. Um, but there's other flavors that I mean, there's flavors galore that they're getting at. It's a very hoppy beer. But uh, I'm anxious to see what it's like. Hopefully, I like it, and it'll be it'll be a bummer if my 100th video is one that I don't like. So I went to my my work buddy's uh, wedding tonight, my wife and I, and uh, he's. That's Neil, the homebrew guy, the one that I've done his homebrews before. These were his uh, his party favors. One's a Hefeweizen and the other's a, a Blondale. But it uh, says, uh, our love's a brewing. <laughs> uh, shoot. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I've got one of each of those today. Um... One other thing before I get into it, um, well, two other things. Got two new subscribers. Uh, one is Crooked Saint Five Ten. He's back on his channel, and uh, and my wife subscribed to me. Couldn't believe that. She's sitting over there shaking her head at me. Um, also, my nephew uh, Justin and his wife Amy, um, they started doing beer reviews. They did their first one tonight. I don't know. If if they're going to keep up, keep it up or not, but um, they did one. Their first one, they dedicated it to Uncle Jerry, so it was pretty cool. Um, it's called Justin and Amy's Beer Beer Review. Um, check it out. Give them a little show of support if, if you have time, and uh, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. All right, let's go into this. Our review is going to be a little bit longer tonight. But it's Saturday night. Alright, let's see what this thing's going to be like. Hmm. Hmm, very very carbonated yellowish almost kind of straw colored well kind of goldish actually 
uh, about a finger head going on there um, off white kind of earthy smelling smells a little sweet Maybe light fruity. Hmm. All right, let's see. <clears throat> A little carbonation burn there. A little sweet up front um, mildly dry very light bitter a little weedy <clears throat> Um, a little sweet. I don't know if I said that already. Um, hmm. It's a little tangy. Like a little sour fruit in there. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's not wowing me. Uh, it's okay. It's not a, it's not a big beer. Um, the, the flavors are not busting out of the beer. It's it's a it's an everyday beer. It's just a, a little sessionable, a little lawnmower, sit back and forget it beer, <laughs> like old Dean says. Yeah, it's just a, a regular ASS beer. But um, it's it's good, it's good. Um, yeah, from our local little brewery, Oklahoma City. Don't know if you can get it or not, but anyway, yeah, this will be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is going to be like. All right, well, I'm going to cut it there. I think I've said everything I was going to say. Excuse me. Um, all right. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching.